All right, I want you to take a look at this sign behind me. I know it's a bit far back, but we have it tied up that the wind can blow it down. But it says, take care of the world and the world will take care of you. So say it with me. Take care of the world and the world will take care of you. Very good. So, that being said, the little character there holding the world, her name is Zana. Now, I like to draw. Do you like to draw? Yes! Well, I drew Zana. I drew all the pictures in my book and I wrote the story. And that's why I'm going to read one of them for you today, okay? And the name of the story is called The Funny Little Mystery at Zana's Back Door. So you ready? All right. Zana peered through her window pane. Outside was pouring with rain, and in the distance she could see a funny little mystery. Someone was jumping up and down from tree to tree and all around. Hmm, who would want to be out there? It's icky and sticky and smelly in the air. She scratched her head. Can everybody scratch their head? Yes, she scratched her head and thought again. There's only trash on that back lane. Most curious now, Zana somehow had to go. Well, if she wanted to know just who was outside her back door. Who do you think is outside her back door? The monkeys always get blamed. Why? So you don't think monkeys can be good? Yeah, monkeys can be good, man. The monkeys always get blamed. All right, so let's continue with the story. So on with her cloak, she pulled up the hood in her fine tassel boots at the back door she stood. She pulled the latch and turned the key and off she went to start her journey. Woo! She took hold, the sight of garbage in numbers untold, and then it hit her, the scent from the scene. She sniffed and sneezed and turn the most awful green. What do you make, think made her feel like that? Garbage. Garbage, exactly. So here, Zana looked around and there she saw her old teddy bear with the broken paw, her purple cup with the crack at the base, her doll that fell and broke its face, the leftovers from her tuna surprise, and Kirby wrappers surrounded with flies. Boxes, bats, feathers, sacks, bottles, cans, and old pots and pans, apple skins and pumpkin seeds, carrot tops and banana peels, on and on and had no end up to her knees. She could not bend. Oh, the muck, her boots got stuck. Then down the lane, she wondered again, who could it be? The funny little mystery. Anybody have any thoughts about who that could be? Still thinking about the monkey? All right, so on she marched down the lane through the mud and the pouring rain. And when she arrived, Zan was very, very surprised. A funny little guy with bulgy eyes, two holes for a nose, flip and floppy hands and toes. A round little belly that moved like jelly. He danced and he pranced, stomping the ground, flippity floppity all around. And as he jumped, he sang a song. There certainly seemed to be something wrong. Distress, distress, I need to get home. Distress, distress, my home is gone. Distress, distress, oh, what a mess. Distress, distress, I cannot rest. Why do you think he's upset? He can't get home and all of the garbage is, he's lost his way, he can't find anything. So, the funny little fellow cried and yelled. Zana wondered if he needed help. So she said, how do you do? Is there some way I can help you? Oh, he jumped with such a fright. Help me? Yes, you just might. But where did you come from and who might you be? This is quite, quite scary. Why do you think he's scared? Because. Right, he's lost. He can't find his home. And he's in somewhere strange, right? Yeah. Okay, so he says, 
She says to him, my name is Zana, I live over there. I saw you jumping around up here. Oh yes, he said, all flustered and feathered. My dome is nowhere to be found. It should be somewhere on the ground. Your dome? Zana exclaimed. Yes, you see, and he tried to explain. I live down below at school, you know. The air is right and cold at night. Perfect for me. And then you see a sound like thunder. Boom. Oh, ooh, what a blunder. Heaps of garbage. And garbage so high. I cleaned and I cleaned till I started to cry. Piles and piles. It just wouldn't stop. Loads of trash fell from the from the top. Climbing and twisting, I pulled, I climbed and I shoved. I made my way up above. I wanted to see what I could do about this most atrocious hullabaloo. But oh, what a shame, he cried. Alas, the mountains of garbage to move, what a task. Who could have made this horrible mess? A stinky, dirty person, I guess. So what do you think is going to happen now? She looks, Zana looks very mad, right? Like a lion in a cage, Zana fumed and fumed with rage. You have insulted me for the first and the last. Here is where I throw my trash. I toss it outside my back door and my worries are no more. Funny little fellow, he sniffed and he snorted and he said, hey, so it's you who made this hullabaloo and now I have no home to go to. They bickered and bantered and hollered and screamed and gruffed and huffed but it looked so mean. Then the funny little fellow finally said, how would you like it if trash fell on your head? Bugs and mites flying around, papers and plastics thrown on the ground. Oh, what a horrible, horrible plight. Will, ever, will I ever find my home tonight? Do you think he'll find his home? No. No? Okay. Let's see what happens. Zana thought for a minute, if her house was like that, she couldn't live in it. The rain was done now and she looked all around. What a dreadful mess she had made on the ground. She looked really sad and felt really bad. Suddenly, she looked up with her eyes so bright. I'm going to clean up here tonight. The funny little fellow jumped with glee. Then Zana said, I will need someone to help me. Would you be willing to lend me a hand? Yes, he said. Together, we can make it spit and span. Do you think that's a good idea to clean out all the garbage? Yes. Yeah, and what do you think will happen if they clean out all the garbage? Okay, let's see if that happens. So Zana knew exactly what to do. She mended her broken cup with glue. They packed up the boxes, collected the bats, reused the feathers in the sack. They made fluffy pillows and decorative fans, planted pretty flowers in the old pots and pans. Zana sewed up Teddy's broken paw and made her doll a brand new jaw. They gathered all that would be thrown away, bagging it up for garbage day. Together, they planted the pumpkin seeds, working merrily to finish their deeds. On and on, they worked through the night until they saw the morning light. Finally, they looked over all they had done, which turned out to be such great fun. The fun little fellow found his dome and he put up a sign that said, Home Sweet Home. Shaking hands, they approvingly declared how it had been a meeting so rare. So that was a good thing they did, right? Cleaned up all the garbage, right? So, from that time, Zana Chine and the funny little fellow whose name was, his real name was, Mr. Cleophus Harlow Eduardo Louis Lincoln Oxnard the Tenth, otherwise known as Mr. Cello, shared pumpkin fritters with lemonade and bitters, enjoying life amongst the trees, living and laughing harmoniously. The end. What did you learn from that?
from that story. Do you think it's a good thing to have garbage all over your house? No. What should you do if you have garbage on the ground? Clean it up, right? And what else can you do with this? You can recycle. Very good. So how many of you know about reduce, reuse, recycle? Everybody does. That's right. So we can probably try to do it in our everyday life, right? So that we can use, reduce the garbage, right? So you see this, this pretty little sun that I have on my head? I made that. And I made that from garbage. Yeah, I did. It's an old t-shirt and cardboard. If you look at it really good, cardboard and tape and glue and paint. It was an old yellow dingy t-shirt, right? And what I did is I got it all painted up, I stuck it on and I painted it up and I painted the sun's face on it. And now I have a nice costume, right? Yeah. All right. So you can think of all the different ways that you can use things, whether it's plastic or cardboard or anything like that, okay? Now, I know the story that I read this morning. I know you will remember to reduce, reuse, recycle. Because remember, Zana made a mistake in throwing her garbage outside the back door, right? But she learned from her mistake because she realized, you know, if I throw my garbage outside the back door, somebody might lose their home. So we don't want that to happen, is that right? Yes. Right, so the next time you eat a snack, or you drink a drink, what are you gonna do? Right, and what are you gonna do with the bottle? Can you recycle the bottle? Yes. That's right, good, so you'll remember that, right? Yes. 